Top 15 Rare Party Photos We Thought We'd Never See of WWE Superstars If you are brand new to our channel, we invite you to take a moment to subscribe. Just click on the lit red button as well as the gray bell. Why the bell? Well, it will let you know every time we post a new video. 15 15. Kali and the Hardys. Here's a picture you probably never thought you'd see. Back in the day, the wrestling business was a different place, and for the most part, the superstars love to enjoy a night out after the show. The same doesn't really hold true nowadays, as wrestlers in WWE are more concerned with getting a good night's rest along with a workout the next day. Well, during Jeff and Matt's prior run, they loved to drink up and let loose particularly on tour buses. The dudes were some of the friendliest guys in the wrestling business, so it's not too shocking that even a guy like Kali enjoyed a beverage with the brothers, even putting up the team's dream sign. He's also got a beer in his hand in case you didn't notice. No, it's not a mini beer. His hands are just that massive. 14. Fourteen, Mysterio unmasked with the crew. Here's another picture you likely thought you'd never see featuring some unlikely candidates. Back when the Bellas first started on the main roster they were quite the party animals, often out and about. This picture is a snippet of that as they partied it up with the likes of Matt, Jeff and an unmasked Rey Mysterio. Unfortunately he does not party with the mask on. Other surprising faces in the photo include longtime WWE referee Mike Chioda and former ring announcer Justin Roberts. Props to both for making the cut. Ironically enough, every wrestler in the picture has a shot to be with the WWE in 2018. The Hardys are now back, both Bellas are scheduled to return in 2018, and Rey Mysterio is a name who is also likely to return in the new year. 13. 13. The Back of the Bus Brothers. During the Chris Jericho podcast, Roman Reigns gave a little bit of insight on the Back of the Bus Brothers which is, in other words, a bunch of WWE superstars that sit in the back of the tour bus and love to have a good time, and by a good time, we mean consuming lots and lots of alcohol. The picture above is a behind-the-scenes look at members of the crew which includes the Usos, Chris Jericho, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, who might have been the one to have taken the picture. Not too surprising, the crew devoured the XL-sized bottle. It isn't all fun and games on tour buses however. Reigns recently flexed his backstage muscle by throwing Enzo Amor off the bus for making obnoxious remarks while on the phone. He's likely not a candidate to sit in the back with the fellows. 12. 12. Shelly Martinez surrounded by the boys. Who's the chick caught in the middle, you might ask? Well, that's former WWE diva Shelly Martinez, aka Ariel, during her brief stint with the company. She served as a part of the ECW brand for most of her run, however Ariel's WWE time was cut short due to a backstage dispute with Batista. She hit the indies following her departure. She was known as a wild child behind the scenes, and this picture certainly justifies that. Once again, it seems like the Hardy brothers are the life of the party as both appear to be shirtless and heavily intoxicated. The late Umaga is also in the photo along with a sleepy Bobby Lashley who appears to be more irritated than anything else. 11. 11. Page and Bronson Matthews. It turns out that the latest Off Enough season had quite the impact on Page. For one, she grew close to a contestant and the eventual winner, Bronson Matthews. The two were spotted chilling and drinking together on a couple of instances, as you see in the photo above.
Of course, Paige is a big advocate for enjoying a drink, and having a darn good time as we've seen on countless episodes of Total Divas, and well, other places as well. Not only that, but who would have thought, that Paige would make her long-awaited WWE return alongside two other tough enough alums? Both Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville made their main roster debuts alongside Paige. Oh, the irony is Paige was quite skeptical, when it came to Mandy during the show. The tables have now turned as the WWE is highly invested into the future of Rose. The trio is now working together on Raw as Absolution. 10. 10. Maria in back of the bus. It's only normal, that with alcohol and elevated testosterone levels, WWE superstars like, to surround themselves with a female in the back of the bus. We got a glimpse of Ariel earlier, and now we have Maria, who's once again surrounded by an unlikely cast including the Hardys, Kali, who's pointing at her for some reason, our truth and former WWE star Carlito. It should be noted here that Canilas really didn't have a reputation of sleeping around, perhaps she was just there to enjoy a drink or two. Canilas would end up leaving the WWE for an extended amount of time, hitting the indie scene alongside husband Mike Bennett, Akamai Canilas. The two had a great run together which brought Maria back to the WWE. She's currently on hiatus expecting the couple's first child. 9. 9. Shirtless Batista and a Happy Hernswoggle. Once again this is another photo featuring multiple male superstars alongside one WWE diva. There's so much going on in this picture, that we don't even know where to begin. Let's start with Crystal Marshall who looks to be the only brave female soul to party with the fellows. It looks like Hernswoggle's getting the VIP treatment in the photo. Also visible in the shot, is a shirtless Gregory Helms who's another guy, that has done his fair share of partying throughout his wrestling career. Perhaps the greatest part of this photo is a shirtless Batista next to MVP. Dave admitted that life on the road, did a number on his personal life, Batista even made the claim in his autobiography, that he became a VSX addict due to his way of life outside of the ring. 8. Triple H with a chick, okay, so there are two rarities in this picture. For one, Hunter's holding an alcoholic beverage. If you know his past, when it pertains to partying, you're well aware, that the game would rather be hitting the gym than enjoying a glass of alcohol. Numerous stories supported this claim, his fellow click buddies recall Hunter being the dude, that made himself a sandwich, while the rest of the crew, was living it up. Not too shocking. Hunter was usually the designated driver of the group. One would even argue, that the glass in the photo above contains water with lemon, but we'll give Hunter the benefit of the doubt on this one. Another rarity, he's posing for a picture alongside a chick that isn't Stephanie. The girl in the photo, had herself a lucky night as she also posed for a picture alongside Stone Cold Steve Austin. 7. 7. Cheers to the boys. First off, props to Cesaro for rocking the Paul Heyman guy t-shirt. He just marginally beat out Alberto Del Rio, and his Real Madrid jersey for top t-shirt in the photo. Long before Cesaro and Sheamus were teaming up as tag champions the two had quite the relationship off-screen which made their future partnership on-screen an absolute breeze. Others in this rare photo include Luke Harper, who's very popular backstage and Drew McIntyre, who would eventually return to the WWE due to his fantastic run on the indie scene. We expect McIntyre on the main roster once he returns from injury. The other familiar face in the photo, is of course Alberto Del Rio, the only wrestler that's no longer with the company. He's been rather vocal since his departure against the company, and for that reason, we shouldn't expect to see him on WWE TV anytime soon. 6. 6. Candice Michelle and Jeff Hardy. 
Although Jeff is known for being quite the party animal in heck, he's even holding hands with former WWE diva Candice Michelle in the picture above. Outside of the ring heart he met his future wife way back in 1999. Beth Britt and Jeff would tie the knot back in 2011 and later start a family. The couple has two children, Ruby Claire Hardy and Janera Quinn Hardy. As for Candace, she's also been living the family life. Candace has three children along with being married behind the scenes throughout her WWE run. Michelle tied the knot with her husband Ken Ehrlich, back in 2005. We congratulate Candace on her recent return at the House of Hardcore event. Michelle returned to the event for one final match defeating another WWE alum, Victoria. 5. 5. Matt and the Bellas. After a brief stint with FCW, both Bella sisters got the call up to the main roster in 2008. At that point, Matt was still with the company, but about to be out the door. Hardy would leave the company in 2010, and wouldn't return till his recent comeback at WrestleMania 33, a return that received one of the most chilling pops in WWE history. Both Matt and Jeff coming back home was long overdue. When Matt departed the Bellas were just getting started. They would take their popularity to newer heights in 2013 with the introduction of Total Divas. The twins now have an immense following of, not only wrestling fans, but reality TV enthusiasts as well. Both are slated to return at some point in 2018. Nikki is very likely to take part in the Women's Royal Rumble match. 4. 4. CM Punk and Nikki Bella By all accounts Nikki Bella was a heck of a wild child during her earlier days with the company. This unlikely picture is an example of that as she's having some fun with CM Punk, out of all people. Punk was also quite the womanizer during his time in the WWE dating a laundry list of divas which included Beth Phoenix, Lita, Maria Canellas and his current wife AJ Lee, just to name a few. Punk has stated that he was straight edge, but that didn't stop him from having a good time while on the road. For now, Punk in the WWE remains a distant dream. However, he is being heavily rumored to attend an event being set up by Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks. We can imagine what a draw that would be to have someone like Punk make an appearance at the event. 3. 3. Jericho's New Year's Party. Just imagine attending this recent party. Last year Chris Jericho hosted a New Year's event in his very own home. The guest list was numerous, and it included current WWE superstars such as former champion Jinder Mohal, who's also a fellow Canadian, Braun Strowman, Luke Gallows and heck, even Dana Brooke. Even some past wrestlers are present in the photo, including the great Dean Malenko who can still rock the hell out of a button-up shirt, along with former WWE superstar Mike Knox. Heading into 2018 things are a lot more different for Y2J this time around. In a shocking twist, Jericho's getting ready for a dream match against Kenny Omega at the Wrestle Kingdom event. We wish Y2J nothing but the best in his blockbuster overseas match. 2. 2. A rare Roman photo. As the biggest full-time star in the WWE, Reigns has done one hell of a job in keeping a clean reputation during his stint with the company. Aside from a wellness policy violation, Roman has kept things squeaky clean. Heck it's nearly impossible to find a picture of Reigns outside of the ring without his family. This one is no exception as his wife is also in the picture, however it is a rarity to see Reigns out and about having a good time alongside his cousin Jey Uso. The photo was taken during a rare night out in Vegas. Roman has admitted to being an advocate for enjoying a drink or two with the boys after a show, however evidence of that has been few and far between. At least we got this shot that kind of shows him drinking. One. 1. Sasha meets Jeff. Sasha looks like the ultimate Jeff Hardy mark in the picture above. Banks was super excited in the photo as it was the first time she met Jeff, 
who would sign with the WWE shortly after. Banks was over the top excited, and that's clear by her vintage Hardy Boys bracelet. Jeff is also all smiles rocking his band's t-shirt in the photo, Parax Y Jen. Numerous WWE stars have witnessed Hardy perform, and despite the different genre of his band place, you must believe that most of the superstars attended his events out of respect more than anything, like Sasha did. Age 40, Hardy is currently sidelined with an injury. Despite his age, he proved that he's still got it, since coming back to the WWE. His return will once again be very welcomed, no matter what gimmick he takes on. As for Sasha, we're hoping for a better 2018 and one that can potentially feature a heel turn. Yeah.